the world's largest free zone on the Atlantic. The Kalan province is a wealth of culture, history and natural beauty and one of Panama's richest provinces. It hosts the Gatum Dam and Locks, the San Lorenzo Fort and Porto Velo, the last two being UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The Kalan Free Zone, located on the Atlantic entrance of the Panama Canal, is the second largest free zone in the world, re-exporting goods and services to the U.S., Latin America and the Caribbean. The trade and commerce in the free zone has given way to the construction of several new ports in the recent years like MIT, Cristobal, Balboa, CCT and the evergreen docking facilities. And all of this is backed by the largest banking center of the Americas. Home of 77 banks. Catering to the growing business is a very significant banking center that comprises 77 national and international banks. The International Banking Center of Panama formally came into being in 1970 and in 1998 created the Superintendents of Banks. This is an autonomous state institution with a judicial personality and its own capital. The superintendent acts independently in the exercise of its functions and is subjected to the supervision of the Office of the Comptroller General of the Republic as established by the political constitution. The government of the Republic of Panama is in alliance with this organization to implement the highest standards and policies to prevent illegal use of the banking system and to ensure its steady approach towards the adoption of the Basel II framework. This has enabled the banking center to be the most important and efficient in the region. In the past several years, the adoption of international banking standards has resulted in a very significant growth and improvement in the transparency and stability of the system. Let's hear from some investors what their experience has been. Investors' Experiences what we found here was far more than just good prices. What we found was excellent infrastructure, good roads, uh, excellent telephone communications everywhere, internet everywhere. Um, you can drink the water anywhere in the country. Good health services. Um, just right down the line, the kinds of things that we felt um, Europeans and, and North Americans would find attractive. A large investment group just bought one of the largest resorts here for $120 million a few weeks ago. I think that that kind of activity is going to focus more attention on Panama and bring more business here and it will be like a snowball. As people are successful, more people will come. As more people come and the country's promoted more, it will be good for all of our investments. I used to live in Costa Rica and I heard about Panama being uh, five years ago, very interesting in, in, with a lot of future. I went down to check it out myself and tried it out for a few months and then decided to move my business. I think the Panamanians are more used to do business. They do a lot of business here. Um, experience with working with Panamanians has been good. Um, Investment-wise, also good. I made some investments uh, in the beginning and I was able to sell uh, with quite some profit. And uh, so yes, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy here and I'm gonna stay.